New details in a statewide investigation involving voter rolls. Today, a federal judge blocked any removals of voters under citizenship review. This is an update to a January announcement by the Texas Secretary of State questioning the citizenship of tens of thousands, some of them here in the Valley. Channel 5's Taylor Winkle joins us in the studio with the latest. A U.S. District Judge out of San Antonio ruling there's no evidence of widespread voter fraud. This evening, we spoke to local elections officials about what that ruling means for their departments. U.S. District Judge Fred Beery stating in court docs, the evidence has shown there's no widespread voter fraud. I think it was a positive step because um, we need time to review it. Cameron County Elections Administrator Remy Garza telling our news crews he kept an eye on the court, waiting to see what they decided to do after his department got a list of about 1,600 names. We were moving very cautiously through the list. We didn't want to reach out to any of the, the registrants until we knew exactly what we were looking at. That list, about 1% of registered Cameron County voters. Given to Garza late last month as the department preps for the May 4th election, already reviewing and updating their registration files. My job is to make sure that we have a complete and thorough list. And when we get information, I think we do have the responsibility to look at it. Uh, but there was information that didn't seem to be accurate with the list. Uh, they appeared to be telling us one thing when actually it was something else when we actually pulled the files. Court docs say local officials can continue looking into if somebody is registered who is not a citizen, so long as it's done without communicating directly to the individual named on that list. Exactly what Garza says his department is doing. State had been working on this list for almost a year before they sent it to us. Uh, I think they could have allowed us the opportunity to see what we had and then uh, make a determination of what the best way to proceed would be. Judge Beery stating in that court doc, almost immediately upon sending the list, the government had an oops moment, realizing that 25,000 names should not have been included. It appears this is a solution looking for a problem. The Texas Attorney General firing back in a statement today saying today's ruling involves a federal district court improperly assuming control over key aspects of the state's obligation under federal and state law to maintain the integrity of its voter rolls in part and that there's no need for the federal court to take over. Counties are ordered not to remove voters from rolls without court approval first. And Gars are reminding us tonight you do have to be a citizen of the United States and over the age of 18 to legally vote. If for any reason you've made a mistake, you can cancel your voting application by reaching out to your local voter registration office. Reporting live in the studio, Taylor Winkle, Channel 5 News at 10.